I do want to add one last thing. Breathing. Every once in a while, it's important that you breathe because apparently that sustains life. Now, down you go. Andre, when's the best time to breathe? Again, with beginners, I want you to just breathe naturally. Avoid holding your breath. Down you go again. But as you start to get used to this exercise, you want to always breathe when you are forcing. So the force is on the up face. So go ahead and pull and shh. She breathes out. She holds it here, but she doesn't hold her breath. She keeps breathing. Then on the way down, she inhales and then up again. Huh! Up again and then hold and then down. Perfect. Now hold that there and just keep breathing. How's your back? Good. You see, that's another thing that's very important in bent over rows. Often, people don't have, trainers, listen up, they don't have the hamstring extensibility. That means the hamstring is too tight. They cannot get this arch, which is pulling the hamstring into a lengthened position. So they can't get the arch this way, and nor do they have the muscular conditioning, what I call the postural conditioning or postural fitness to hold the spine in place for a minute. So they may be trying to work one muscle, but their postural dynamics for stability are not yet fit enough. So I highly recommend that you get Get them first holding positions like this until they get to a minute before you start increasing loads. Otherwise, collapse. You're going to keep getting this in the last few reps. Go ahead, do a couple of reps. And that loads the lumbar spine and really dramatically increases the risk for injury. Enjoy the uh, row.